Yeah, so we got this muffler here, and uh, we're going to put some never sees on these bolts here. And uh, yeah, this baby's real close to being done now. This is exciting. So let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be sweet. Sounds like there's something in it. <laughs> what the heck? You know, that's going to drive me nuts. It's going to be like a little rattle in there when it's done. Uh, maybe it'll just blow out when it's on. Let's see. Yeah, so we got four bolt, four new bolts, new gaskets. This thing is going to be awesome. Four new lock washers. So I basically need like a 45 degree angle to come out of that uh, end there. And then after that, like maybe a one inch piece. So I think I'll stop at Home Depot tomorrow morning on the way to work and see if I can't snag those. Let's see. Tighten the sucker down. This is really sweet having this new manifold with these beautiful threads in it here. And also these new flanges on the muffler that all aren't all bent up like the old ones were. Some of you guys remember the video from my 450 when they were totally freaking bent. I ended up having to file them and hammer them to try to get them smooth again. This is a real pleasure to work on this. Oh yeah, baby. Ta-da! So, really, there's only one thing left in this uh, to do, is hook up the fuel line here. And uh, hook this back up down here to the fuel pump. Hook up our line back up to the carburetor. This fuel pump is a little bit suspect, and if it ends up that it's giving me hell, I'm going to switch over to a Briggs vacuum pump. But for now, we will hook this back up. Shouldn't really be a big deal. Tighten up these clamps.
Now I think I will go use my uh, blow in the gas line trick and try to prime this fuel line again. Give that a shot. Now let's move some of this junk here and see if we can start it up. Check the oil in the crankcase. Pull the dipstick here. Yeah, it's right up to full. Yeah, it looks perfect. I'm going to hit the primer on the fuel pump a couple times. I think the fuel pump is leaking between the uh, surfaces here. I can see it oozing gas out. So I'm going to see if I can tighten those uh, quarter inch bolts that are on there. And uh, I really have a feeling that we're going to be getting that Briggs pump on this thing soon. In fact, I can see gas oozing out around the base of this thing. Uh, let's see, that was a hair loose, so maybe we'll get lucky here and be able to tighten the halves of this valve body together. Can't even see the bottom. Ugh. Son of a bee. Yeah, I can see there's gas all over the block here, and these are pretty loose too. Holy cow. Pretty loose bolts. Can't get to that one. There we go. Kind of. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's definitely leaking. So I think we're probably just going to order that Briggs pump and retire this Onan one. I don't know if the haps get warped or if just the diaphragm gets killed by the ethanol or something like that, but it is leaking. Well, I see some gas in my carburetor, so hey. You know what? Let's see if we can get this thing to run. Let's check it out. I'll put the choke on. This one likes to be in low throttle usually. I just remembered that I never tightened uh, this side of the intake manifold, so it is going to run awesome. I can tell you that, man. We just got to check on this bolt over here and whether or not I can tighten it deep enough with that busted stud in there. Let's just try to tighten it by hand here a little and see. Yeah, it's bottomed out, so before I go any farther, I'm going to... And take this bolt out of here and bring it home and cut a little bit off the base of it so that I don't snap it off. And uh, yeah, call this a wrap, guys. By the way, here's the inside of the old muffler that fell apart. And here's what that flange is. It's like a 45 degree angle. And then a piece of pipe that has maybe three inches hanging out or so. So I may have to buy a pipe that's like four or five inches and just cut the threaded part off to match this look here. But yeah, it should be no problem. It should cost like five or six bucks and we'll be in business.